listen to Kovai Vani. Enjoy the podcast by our enthusiastic young residents. Kovai Care is the best place to retire. Hello listeners, this is Malati Jayakumar of Kovai Vani and I wish to share some thoughts with you. I was rearranging my cupboard the other day as we all do from time to time and I was struck by many thoughts. I felt that hidden away in every woman's wardrobe is a saga of a life lived with all its ups and downs the passions the romance and the heartache locked away in steel almirahs slumbering in wooden cupboards or nestling in the good old trunk of yesteryears is the colorful history of the lady of the house most often it is only the owner who knows all the intricacies of the twist and turns in her life the pleasure the pain the tears and laughter the pride the joy the excitement and all the other emotions that weave together to make a full life my wardrobe an ancient godrich steel almirah with a mirror on one side all almirahs those days were called godrich just as all nail polish was called cutex full of memories and scintillating tales of years filled with great experiences each soft six yards of fabric evokes an emotion that brings peace nostalgia pain and happiness in equal measure when i open the cupboard the sarees jostle and nudge each other for attention and each time i choose one it drapes me in a haze of times long past or recent the most poignant story is entwined in the deep rich burgundy colored silk sari covered with baskets of flowers embroidered in gold with a solid swath of shimmering gold for a pallu my mind goes back to 1932 the year my father and mother were married in a village way down south when this sari was worn by my father's mother I can imagine her bustling around at the very first family wedding the marriage of her eldest son welcoming her first beautiful daughter-in-law in 1964 the very same well preserved saree reached me in calcutta barely a year after my father's death my grandparents had sent it by registered post there was no courier service those days a parcel laden with luminous thoughts as a gift and a comfort for my first birthday without a father i wore the saree at my own wedding janavasam in 1966 and many times since then reliving the joy and the heartache the stunning all gold lace saree that i wore at my wedding reception in 1966 is all wrapped in tissue paper having traveled all the way to leeds in england to be worn by my daughter at her memorable wedding to a young handsome british lad in 2005 i can almost hear the moving oaths they had written for each other and feel again the lump in my throat as they articulated with great emotion the white kanjivaram patti sari with a maroon and gold embroidered border and a striking pallu conjures up days of happiness as it was my thalai deepavali sari when i pregnant with my first child i do not think i was ever pampered as much as i was then it evokes memories of lights glimmering outside the house the fragrance of sweets the smell and sound of fireworks laughter and shrieks of happiness as colors streak the sky the saree presented to me for my only brother's wedding is a radiant peacock's neck color a fascinating blend of blue and green and a very delicate touch of mauve or pink with a deep maroon border embellished with two bands of gold it has always been my favorite color a reversible tanchoi of midnight blue winks at me reminding me of mad parties when it was frayed at the ends i was so loath to throw it away that i converted it into a salwar kameez that waltzed with me at later parties the brilliant blue mysore crepe silk reminds me of my very first job interview the double shaded mustard and brown saree with a mustard and gold border with a matching brocade bag 
was the first ever gift to me by my husband. This crisp white Bengal cotton with a blood red embroidered border takes me back to the funeral of my young colleague who suddenly and tragically died in my arms. The soft black silk with a narrow gold border is the very first sari I ever wore, feeling very grown up and special. The glowing cream Kanjivaram silk sari with the rippling pallu of subtly interwoven gold, green and mauve was my Shashtya Purti sari, a landmark year indeed, celebrated with my loving family and friends. The Kanjivaram cotton with black, yellow and red checks with an intricate red and gold border belonged to my mother-in-law, who gave it to me before she died at the age of 101. The Coca-Cola patta with a broad lilac border and the sunflower yellow with very fine green and red lines with the Ganga Jamuna border of red and green that I wore for my award functions have always been scene stealers. Various landmark birthdays and anniversaries are reflected in salmon pink, olive green, vibrant orange and many other eye-catching shades. Some saris like my magenta and green patola are quite frayed but still beautiful when worn. Some have been darned or repaired expertly enough to pass muster. Some can never be worn again but are too beautiful and so interwoven with precious memories that I do not have the heart to throw them away. Every woman has many stories and voices nestling between the pages of diaries, but many have legends and history within the folds of dresses in a wardrobe. My cherished saris will continue to charm my children and grandchildren, adding a new chapter and acquiring fresh history in faraway lands. These are dreams never to be forgotten. They are dreams that will lead on to link with the dreams of another generation. History and dreams are interwoven in every warp and woof of every sari. Each time I see or touch a sari, I say a heartfelt prayer of gratitude to the untiring hands of the hard-working weavers who would have laboured meticulously at the loom for days on end to weave such a shimmering dream for us at the cost of their own difficulties. Thank you. Thank you and stay tuned.